Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of my self-published reading blog. So I plan to read three self-published books over the course of this reading blog. For this I have picked Cold from the North by D.W. Ross. This was a book that was sent to me many, many moons ago that I planned to read last year and then didn't. And now many months have passed and I still haven't read it, but I will because now it's a self-published reading vlog and I'm going to read the book. So this is a epic fantasy. I think it's a trilogy. It was recommended to me as someone that really enjoyed John Gwynn. Uh, I believe uh, driven by a promise of an ancient prophecy which will bring the dark ways of an old god back to power and prominence an army of it, an army of invaders swarms ogolf harlsbane's homeland slaughtering all those who oppose them so i think we're following ogolf as he tries to save the world uh, if he fails darkness will prevail and the reign of the onyx born will begin okay so i'm sold i was sold on it being like john gwynn there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I also really like the cover. And um, again, okay, it gives me John Wynn vibes. Okay. Um, so fingers crossed, I really like it. I will say that for all of the authors uh, and the books, I will link the Goodreads down below as well as the author's like, details. Uh, so their social media. Uh, so if I like the books or not, I think you should support them. Um, and I'll try and find some like other reviews as well, because it's such a hard, like, business doing self-publishing and doing everything yourself that whatever my thoughts which I'm not I'm not gonna like shy away from sharing my honest thoughts because what's the point if you're not being honest but like whatever I think I still think that these books should be recognized and should be read uh, hopefully by hopefully by me reading about reading them hopefully loving them and talking about them will get them out to a wider audience so that's the first that's the first book uh next I have uh Hellmouth by Giles Christian, which is a novella. Uh, I was thinking of reading three like full length books and then I was like, that's a lot of reading, Abby. That's a lot of reading and you've not really been reading very much. So I have uh, changed my plans a bit, which you didn't even realize because this was before I even started the vlog. Um, and I replaced the book that I was planning to read with a novella. So Giles Christian is an author that I have definitely been really interested in. He has written um, and, and published with a publisher, Lancelot, which I own and haven't read which I've been really interested in reading because I love King Arthur retellings. Um, I love Merlin, the TV show, but th this is not a Lancelot. This is not a Merlin reading vlog or a King Arthur reading vlog, which I have been thinking about doing, but not right now. So it's this author um, and he has written a novella. Um, and I think this is a horror. Uh, all it says is Bohemia 1370, a lost soul named Galleon leads a band of hardened mercenaries on a mission for Mother Church. But in the dark forests of Central Europe, a darker secret awaits. Giles Christian takes us on an unnerving ride into fear and paranoia, bloodshed and redemption. And I believe this is based on like a real world, real place. The, the history of it all, like this novella is based on history or legend and it's been like repurposed or like it's being a, a retold story uh i'm a bit scared because i'm not a horror person i'm just not i'm not i get scared of like the smallest things i get i get scared if i'm like home alone and there's like a noise it's like <laughs> that's just the way i am uh so i'm a bit scared of it but you know if i can do horror hopefully i can do it in 50 pages so there's that and then i also have guild by raven kennedy this is a fantasy romance it is a king midas retelling so everything is is golden uh our main character is gold touch so she is completely golden uh and i believe that prior to the book prior to the start of the book she was sort of rescued by king midas um but she is now sort of kept as his prisoner or more like a pet uh so there's a very weird dynamic there uh and this is a four book fantasy romance series um i'm i'm a bit nervous i'm not too sure if i'm gonna love it or not i feel like people have said that the first book sets up for a lot of things that you don't quite know where it's headed and then there's like a big twist towards the end of the book here comes a helicopter uh, or like the towards the end of the book the direction of the plot changes um and it sets up for a lot of things in the rest of the series either way i'm intrigued i'm i'm intrigued uh life as may um absolutely loves this so hopefully i can love this series as much as she does because but yeah because i would absolutely love to have like a new fantasy romance obsession like the obsessions 
that you get over fantasy romance i would love that so hopefully uh i've got like a variety of genres here that even if you're not interested in one then you might be interested in another because i mean what well, we've got like an epic fantasy we've got a horror we've got a fantasy romance hopefully that's like a, a wide variety of genres um from different self-published authors i will put time dance in the descriptions so for when i talk about each of the books so if you're interested in just one of these books then you can go to that section and just hear me talk about that particular book and uh, i will get back to you once i have actually done some reading hello it's the same day many 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 hours later uh, and i have started my first book guild by raven kennedy and i am 150 odd pages in so i'm making some excellent progress excellent progress i don't think i've been reading a book this quickly in a long time like this is so easy to read um yeah it is it is a fast read like and the chapters they all of them seem to end on a cliff on a little cliffhanger so you have to keep going to the next chapter like it is addictive and very easy to read uh which definitely works in its favor and it's definitely i think something that my brain has been needing because i've been reading a lot of very long epic books and actually reading something like this has just made me go oh my god this is so easy <laughs> This is in first person, and I haven't read a book in first person in a very long time. Um, maybe I've just got used to reading in third person. I feel like first person was something that I used to read a lot. Like, maybe there used to be more books written in first person, maybe more YA books written in first person. And I've been reading a lot more adult books, which are predominantly in third, or there's been more of a shift to read to writing in third person. I don't know. But uh, it's been a while since I've read such a fast paced first person book. So what's this about? It, well, it's a fantasy romance, but I'm not really feeling any romance as yet. <laughs> and I'm not rooting for our main character to be with any of the people that we've met so far. So I really hope that we have a different love interest that comes along. Uh, but basically, it's set in this fantasy world where you have six kingdoms and you're following a character who is the prisoner or pet of one of the kings and that he is king midas and everything that he touches turns to gold so and she is gold touched so everything about her is golden and there's not like loads that's really happened we've just really been introduced to her and her setup within this world and her life uh, i'm not going to go into spoilers so i won't like say too much more and we've just got used to like the political situation within the empire and these six kingdoms uh I, I, and yeah i mean we've met king midas who i really hope is not going to be the long-term love interest because you can see that she well even from like the very first page like from the very beginning you can see that she has feelings for him but these feelings are feelings of like he saved me when i was younger and i have this trust and sort of these these romantic feelings towards him because of those actions that he has has taken the way he has protected me in the past but that like it's not love I, I don't know it's like possession it's abusive it's emotional yeah it's emotional abuse but that's it's not a, it's not a relationship no. no 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 so i really hope that we get a different love interest come along I, i'm not i'm not a fan of king midas despite how charismatic he is uh so yeah I'm, I'm intrigued to see where it's going to go i'm intrigued to see what's going to happen with well with the romance with the fantasy elements um i feel like it's been much more focused on like the characters as opposed to like the actual fantasy as of right now like i don't really know anything about well i know a tiny bit about the world but not a lot because we're seeing the world through the lens of someone that's in a cage i, I am intrigued to learn more about the world about the magic um and hopefully figure out where the romance is going uh i mean i wouldn't say that i'm like loving it i i think it's a very like addictive fast-paced read that i'm having fun with but i don't think the writing style is like exactly to my taste i find that it's it's quite a modern writing style um so i have a little bit jarred seeing that within the fantasy narrative it does feel like a very much a uh, 21st century girl sort of narrative which doesn't quite fit with the fantasy setting I, I, I don't hate that i just it's not to my taste so those are my thoughts so far and i guess i'll check in when i finish it hello so last night i finished guild the first book for this reading vlog success i don't think i've read a book this quickly in so long like 
uh, as of filming this, it's the 14th of February. And until the 12th of February, I hadn't finished a book. Like I hadn't finished a book for the first 12 days of the month. And then I read this in two days. I, like, but I started on like the evening of the 12th and I'd finished it by the afternoon of the 13th. Like I sped through this, like this was compulsively readable. It was addictive, but I have a lot of faults with it. It made it a little bit tricky to rate, to, for me to like think about this and rate this because I obviously enjoyed my time reading it because I couldn't stop reading it. But also there were so many parts where I was like, I'm annoyed with this. <laughs> uh, this is, this is grating on me. So as I said, it's very compulsively readable. It's you, each of the chapters, you just want to keep going. You want to know what's going to happen next. Uh, and it just makes you want to keep turning the pages. So it, it's successful in that sense that it's bingeable. But, uh, I found myself getting a little bit annoyed with our main character. And I found that quite a few of the plot beats were quite predictable. Uh, that as soon as we got into a scenario, I was like, well, this is going to happen. And then that would happen. And I was like, well, obviously, like, maybe because I've read like quite a few books like this, or, I, or I've been reading fantasy for years. But as soon as a scenario happened, I was like, well, it's only going to go one way. It's only going to go, this, this is what's going to happen. And so there wasn't really that many surprises or things that maybe would have been surprises to other readers weren't surprises to me. I was like, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's me as a reader and not the book, but for me, I found a lot of the plot beats very predictable. I, as people have said, I do think that it sets up a, a lot for the rest of the series. And people do seem to say that this acts like a prologue for the rest of the series, that this isn't the sum of its parts. Is that the, is that the phrase? Um, that we, we shouldn't judge the series based on this one book. Um, and fair enough. Uh, because I do like where it's headed, I think, based on where this has ended, I'm liking the direction of it, uh, because there is, like, no romance in this. Considering that this is marketed as a fantasy romance, the romance in this, non-existent, pretty much. The, I mean, there's some scenes, but they're not with someone who I would expect to be a love interest. <laughs> More just men being horrible. I feel like it's a bit of a weird... Okay, maybe marketing the whole series of the fantasy romance, maybe, but marketing this book as a fantasy, fantasy romance, definitely not. I definitely, if you're interested in picking this up, check out the trigger warnings because there's a lot in here. That's, there's a lot of not pleasant things. I think I'm going to settle on three stars because I had all these issues, but it was so compulsively readable that I have to give it like props for being so compulsively readable and for like really getting me out of my... I wouldn't say I was in a slump because I, I wasn't in a slump. I just was away for, with work for a week and then I had COVID and I've, I'm now at the end of COVID, but like, it wasn't anything to do with the books. It was to do with my life circumstances that was preventing me from reading. So yeah, but definitely props to it for being such a compulsively readable book. But that was the first book done. So I have read Hellmouth, the novella. I mean, it was only 50 pages, didn't really take me that long, but I don't feel like I've got a lot of thoughts or a lot to say on it. I, I just, I feel a bit like it was just a bit bland, which is not really what you want to say for like a horror novella. I don't know. I just, I just don't really have anything to say on it, like anything to say on it. I, I mean, it's just, it is just a 50 page novella. I thought it was going to be a bit more horrific than it was. It's like a historical fantasy horror and, and it's like set following this group of mercenaries and they're tasked with going to this haunted place uh this haunted castle type place and you just follow them on their journey there and what happens to them on the journey and when they get there i mean i like the inspiration like the bit at the end where it says that this place actually existed that there was this castle that was built in um the czech republic i think it is so this this creepy place exists uh and that it has had like horrific events that have happened in this place and that have continued to happen so i, I like the inspiration but i just don't feel like i really got like a satisfying story out of it i left it feeling like i, I did i wasn't horrified by it like uh, it's not that i'm very good with horror but i wanted 
to be scared. And I wasn't scared. I kept thinking, well, when's it going to get scary? And it just felt a bit like a dark fantasy, really. It didn't really scare me. Nothing made me feel tense. And I was like, I want to feel tense. I want to feel the horror. And it just, it, I don't know. I, I don't know from what my expectations were. Maybe I thought it was going to be more like suspenseful and it wasn't suspenseful. Uh, that, yeah, it wasn't at all suspenseful because it felt as though it was more on the fantasy, like hell sort of side of horror. It wasn't on the, I'm going to scare you with the suspense of, of it. I think it was well written. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see what his other works are like. I have Lancelot and I want to give that a try because I do, I did like the writing side. I think it was well written. I think it was well paced, but I just didn't find it very satisfying and very horrific. I guess after having like loads of thoughts on Guild, it's, I just guess it feels a bit weird to not have that many thoughts on this. I just don't have that many thoughts to share. I, I, okay, so we will leave it at that and I will come back once I have started Cold from the North. <laughs> Okay, just wanted to check in. For me, it's been a while. For you, it's not been any time at all uh, on my self-published reading vlog. So uh, I took a break to read House of Sky and Breath. And now I'm back to read the final book for this vlog, which is Cold from the North by D.W. Ross. Uh, so I have started reading this. I am 30% of the way through. I just thought I would check in now and share my initial thoughts of the story. I don't feel like I've got loads of thoughts yet um but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can say so this is an epic fantasy it's sort of it's it seems very cold is the right word for it. it seems very cold the setting the setting is cold so I feel it's like for me I'm imagining like Scotland or Norway or that sort of territory just like cold rugged landscape um and it's been cold for years supposed to be in this place and i guess scotland is always cold so <laughs> there we go uh you're following a main character ogolf and you're following him and his town and they at the very beginning of the book his town becomes threatened by this um opposing force this army this presence this something is, is crossing the boundary and is entering their land and they are under attack they're under attack and their, their village is going to be under attack soon and so they are fleeing away from them and so yeah that that's the the very start of the book so it's very action heavy from the get-go it's just action 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 uh with following a golf as as he tries to wrap his head around the threat to his town his life uh, and what happens next from that uh, we don't know that much yet about this opposing force or like why they're attacking, where they're coming from. Um, they seem pretty evil. Uh, that, that's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting that like they're the evil force from beyond the wall, uh, which seem, which maybe I should have read this book in January when I read like the, uh, where I had the theme of opposing force from beyond the wall, this dark force that's rising and that whole like theme that I did without even realising it because of reading Green Rider and Lycanius and obviously this book would have fitted in with that theme as well but I wasn't aware of this okay okay yeah I mean I feel like yeah we've had a lot of action so far which is really really great for like reading it quickly because I'm engaged because I'm like wanting to know what's going to happen uh, but I do want a little bit more time I, I, hopefully it's going to slow down a little bit now so I can get to know the characters a bit better get to know the world um get to know this yeah get to know the world the, the world and the characters outside of the action because so far it's been quite action heavy so but I'm definitely intrigued with where it's going to go I'm intrigued by our characters I'm just looking forward to getting to know them a little bit better and getting to know the magic a bit more um and understanding exactly the direction of this plot and where we're going to go like what does this mean for our characters like we've got this opposing force but where are we going to go from here like what what is the plot what's our direction now that we know like we've got this opposing force but we don't know like why they're attacking and i just i'm I'm ready to find out some more i'm ready to find out some more so, and just figure out like figure things out a little bit more okay so just a quick check-in i am over the 50 percent mark now in this book and it did exactly what i hoped it would do and it slowed down a little bit and it gave me some world building it gave me some character development that's all i really wanted to say that it just it delivered what i wanted which was a little bit of a slower pace as we moved into this i don't know second third and um 
which I really appreciated that we got a bit more time just to develop things. Um, I feel like we're, we're going to hit some more action again, but like it was nice to just get some developments, some like understanding the magic, some understanding of what was going on, um, and just like some more, I don't know, the grounding blocks for the world. So that's where I'm at. Hello friends. So I just thought I would check in because it's been a few days and actually I finished a cold from the north a few days ago and I just haven't updated you. Uh, so I just thought I would check in, wrap up that book and then wrap up my feelings overall over the three self-published books that I read for this vlog. So cold from the north, I don't feel like I have like loads of like really positive things to say or any really like really negative things to say. I'd say my opinions on the book are pretty neutral. Uh, there are lots of aspects that I liked, like obviously it's fantasy and I like fantasy. So I liked, I liked the world. I liked the setting of it where you have these, these, these kingdoms and they do have different climates Like you have the climate that we first see, which is really, really cold and rugged. And then you have the play, the journeys that they go through where they go to more a climate that's more normal where it has more seasonal weather like i like that setting i like the fantasy yeah the general fantasy setting and i think i like i liked our characters as well although i think they could have had a little bit more development and a little bit more like i don't know exploration on them and like expanding on them and their personalities because in some ways it felt as though we went into those characters lives at that stage that they were in and we didn't really see who they were before that time or like how they came to be the people that they were today. So maybe I just wanted them to feel a little bit more, a bit, little bit rounder. And uh, in terms of the plot as well, uh, I mean, it's, a, it's a very classic fantasy epic plot. Um, but sometimes I, maybe I was just expecting a twist and the, not, not that you need twists, it's not like it's a thriller, but like, I was like, I don't, trust i was like maybe i'm just so when things are going too much to the plan i'm like no 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 something's gonna something's gonna go wrong something someone's not trustworthy everyone felt a little bit too trustworthy apart, apart from the people that you knew were not trustworthy so part of me really wanted one of the trustworthy people to not actually be trustworthy it felt like the characters came up with a plan at the well not at the beginning but but that they came up with a plan following fleeing from this big threat and the plan worked all the way through there wasn't the hiccups and i i don't know I don't, it's not like it's not like i want the plans not to go as they should go but i don't know maybe i just wanted a few more obstacles obstacles which it feels like a bit pernickety but i'm trying to like figure out like what would have made this book more of a five star for me like what would have made me fall in love with it because i found the writing right really really readable <laughs> like i was compelled to keep reading it like i wanted to know what's going to happen to our characters um but there was something that always stopped it me falling in love with it so i guess those are my thoughts i'm definitely intrigued to see where the series goes next and see what happens with our characters and see what happens within this world and I do think like for a, a self-published fantasy debut, I think it was really well done. I think it was well written and really well done. So over the, it feels like a little while for me, over the past month, yeah, month, I have read Guild by Raven Kennedy, Hellmouth by Giles Christian and uh, Cold from the North by D.W. Ross. So three very different self-published books all very different all very different vibes really from them all like guild being fantasy romance hellmouth being on the side of horror and cold from the north being very much a traditional epic fantasy story so all just very different um none of them unfortunately have been like new favorites like yeah yeah that's unfortunately unfortunately i wish i could have found a five star self-published favorite during this but i haven't uh, so I'll probably put Cold from the North as my favourite, although I've just gone through my critiques, I would probably put that one as my favourite because of uh, the, the elements in it that I really, really like. Then I'd have Guild, and Guild I can see the potential for the rest of the series, but I think Guild by itself isn't, it's not by itself as a novel, it's, it's not very strong, but I'm hoping for what it sets up, I will enjoy it a lot more. Uh, and then Hellmouth just, it just wasn't for me, it just wasn't to my taste, uh, I just wanted i was just expecting something other than what it was potentially i i was expecting to be scared and i wasn't really scared so that's 
how I felt about these three self-published novels. Uh, let me know if you are planning to pick any of these up, if any of these sound interesting to you. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will link all of the details for these books and these authors down below in case you're interested in checking them out and supporting them and their works. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my future videos. Bye!